Hey, what's going on everyone? Josh here again. I decided to start a tutorial and um, I believe I'll call the series Improving Workflow 101. And basically it'll cover ways to improve your creative process. Uh, one of the traps that, and even in my experience that I used to have is when starting a project whether mixing or creating producing or anything like that I hit a pitfall of getting caught up of auditioning presets for a plug-in or auditioning virtual instruments which can delay and stifle the main goal that you intended to uh, set for so this video series will cater towards producers, musicians that want to have a seamless flow of creativity without the hassle of running and hitting walls when trying to find that sound that they're looking for. Okay, so I uh, hope you enjoy. Let's get started. All right, so this first session will be about the power of templates using templates. Um, I recently got into creating templates a few years ago and it's helped me a lot. And what I mean by creating templates, when you're using your your DAW, um, it's a good idea um, to save a starting point so that when you work on your next project, um, that you already have your favorite uh, I like to think of them as session players well, I'm really talking about tracks but you have your best uh, to you your best sounding whatever it is uh, a virtual instrument or sound already loaded up and saved for maybe a next client or a next session that way you don't have to open up a track and go through every drum kit or every um, bass you already have an idea so I'm using logic uh, for this particular video this can this can apply to whatever DAW that you're using here I have some general starting points of a template so let's open up contemporary jazz one um, so I usually get my ideas from records that I like also like if a, a particular song has a, a, a sound and how it's balanced with the instruments and and the, with the mixing, I like to get my ideas from that and and kind of bring it over to my doll so that when I want to kind of go into that genre, I already have a, a very solid foundation, good starting point. So I've already, I think I've already loaded up my template here, so it should be coming up soon. Okay, as you've probably seen already, I've loaded up a template that I named contemporary jazz and this particular turbo has eight tracks uh, I have drums a bass uh, piano roads pad uh, another pad that's actually coming from my keyboard so you probably won't hear anything any as of right now guitar sax alright um, so if, if I go to my mixer view I have a general starting point of a mix it's not a perfect mix but what I did I panned my sax over a little bit to the left and my guitar is panned center to kind of give a nice dimension and depth of perception when listening to. Um, I got the idea from a song that I liked. So uh, when the when the lead instruments of the uh, when the it's for purposes like when the sax and guitar do a line together, you can be able to tell the difference. Actually, let me go ahead and arm those so you can hear what I'm talking about. <laughs> So 
So that's what I mean. So you can hear the sax and you can hear the guitar. All right. What I decided to do is drop in a MIDI file for drums. And I'm just going to kind of create something very basic. Maybe about 12 bars. So just to show how fast you can start creating based off a template. So let's see. Okay, I kind of messed up the bass, but oh well. So, bam. I don't know how long I took, but you get the idea. All right, so you get the idea. So, hope that works. Um, this can apply to any genre. Uh, pop, rock, anything. But creating a template kind of get you going fast. I didn't have to audition. I already have my piano, everything loaded up here, uh, bass, drums. I already know. I already have my session players ready to go, ready to work. So thanks for watching and tune in to the next session.